This is the world, divided into seven continents, six of which are inhabited by humans. As of today, there are 195 countries across these continents. This is Africa, the second most populated continent in the world. It has 54 countries which makes it the continent with the highest number of countries. And there is you. You are probably sitting down somewhere right now with a completely negative impression about one of the most amazing continents in the world. You probably believe that African countries are uncivilized, poor and riddled with diseases. <laughs> Some even believe that Africa had no civilization in its history. Well, it's not your fault. You've been told lies repeatedly about Africa. People who believe these lies basically think that Africa has nothing to offer. But nobody will tell you that Africa has the richest concentration of natural resources. From oil to diamond, gold, copper, lithium and bauxite. Just name it, you'll find it in Africa. In fact, about 30% of the Earth's natural resources are found in African continent. Also. The continent has the biggest precious metal reserve on Earth. 12% of the world's oil production comes from Africa. The continent is the leading producer of the highly prized metal, gold. So, do you still think a continent that is so endowed with natural resources is poor? Yeah, I know the challenges most African countries are facing are high levels of corruption lack of policies on wealth management, poor resource allocation, etc. But is there a continent that is free from challenges? I don't think so. What if I told you that the things you think you know about Africa are all lies? What if I told you that the rest of the world are profiting more from the continent's wealth than most African citizens? Would you call me a liar for saying so? I promise that I am not. And by the end of this video, you will understand that there is a side to the story about Africa that you have not been told. But let me warn you, you will need to swallow some difficult truth about Africa that the media hasn't told you yet. So, are you with me? Stay with me, then let's not waste any more time. A 2017 analysis by the Coalition of UK and African Equality and Development Campaigners revealed that the rest of the world are profiting from the continent's wealth than most African citizens. It further revealed that African countries received $162 billion in 2015, mainly in loan, aid, and personal remittances. But in the same year, $203 billion was taken from the continent either directly through multinationals repatriating profits and illegally moving money into tax havens or by cost imposed by the rest of the world through climate change adaptation and mitigation. This led to an annual deficit of $47 billion from African countries. Yes, the same countries where people remain trapped in poverty. Now tell me, is Africa really poor or the continent is being changed? According to Tim Jones, an economist from Jubilee Debt Campaign, the key message we want to get across is that more money flows out of Africa than it goes in. And if we are to address poverty and income inequality, we have to help get it back. He further says that the key factors contributed to this inequality include unjust debt payments and multinational companies in Africa ID proceeds through tax avoidance and corruptions. For instance, in 2015, African government received $32 billion in loans. Guess what? They paid $80 billion in debt interest. That is over half of the original loan amount. Sadly, the level of debts keep increasing in the continent. But it's quite painful that the prevailing narrative out there is rich country governments sent foreign aid to help Africa. However, this narrative is not what it seems. It's a distraction and it's misleading. 
If you've been following this video by now, you will realize that the rest of the world is systematically looting Africa. Let me re-emphasize this. Africa is wealthy. But most of the continent's natural resources are owned and exploited by foreign private corporations. Sadly, international media organizations have always had a habit of depicting Africa as a primitive continent that is still in the Stone Age. Some people believe that man and wild animals live together in Africa. Some even believe that African countries are so poor that they can't even survive without foreign aid. The question is, have you bought into this stereotype? Africa is more amazing than you think. There is more to Africa than you see in the media. From the continent's diverse culture to exceptional landmass, indeed, Africa is a place most people call home. Finally, if you are looking for breathtaking tourist attractions, you should come to Africa. It's every traveler's fantasy. Thank you.